everybody, welcome back to another brand new release video. In front of me, I've got a brand new box of the 2020 Toss Big League. This just came out yesterday, but with four new releases, I decided to do two new release videos yesterday and two today. So today we've got this one up first, and later today I'll do pro debut and let you guys take a look at that. So what we've got here is an 18-pack box. It's a little bit different from last year. Last year with Big League, it was 24 packs with 10 cards per pack, so a few less fewer cards this year, but they make up for it with an improved design, which I'm looking forward to seeing, and also some nice insert cards as we show you all around the box. Here's the front of the box and the back of the box. We'll also show you for those of you that like that no purchase necessary stuff that will be on the pack i'll show you those with the odds that might be on there but let's get this started and see who we can find in these 18 packs this is a lower end release usually these boxes go from anywhere between 35 and 45 dollars uh, i checked this out on steel city collectibles and after tax and shipping it was 43 dollars. you can usually find it on ebay for right around 35 to 40 as well patrick's going to get all the cards from this box let's see what we can find for him and take a look at the design of this brand new release. Lower end release, so you can probably usually pay around 2 to $3 per pack if you're picking these up at your LCS. Uh, it says there, collect cards featuring top MLB veterans and rookies. And also, um, it says it on the other side right there. So, kind of cool. They have different players on each pack. You can see you got Tatis and Juan Soto on the front of this pack. Here are all the odds. Now, the odds for finding autographs aren't very good in terms of what you're used to. Typically, you find an autograph in one in every, uh, oh, one in every, I don't know, every other box, maybe for hobby or so. It's a little bit tougher here. There's the odds. Typically, what I've found is we will find an autograph one in every, oh, I don't know, maybe three boxes or so from last year. We'll see if that changes this year. We have a big scale break of this on monday so i hope that you will check us out for that as we go through a bunch of these packs so let's get started and check out the design they have a border this year a nice white border there's chris sale leading things off i like the white border very uh clean simplistic look to the cards david peralta and every pack has an orange parallel which is pretty cool you may remember last year they had yellow bordered parallels. There's Paul Young, defensive wizard card. Kind of a cool card right there. There's the orange border, Kyle Schwarber, Aaron Savali, rookie card, Marcus Semyon, and Hunter Harvey. So take a look at the backs of the cards. You can see kind of cool that they have the, um, I guess, different border colors based off of the team. Uh, also gives you their entire batting record, which I really, really love. Um, and... Uh, a little bit of extra information right there. So that's our first pack. 300 cards in the set with all the good rookies in here as well. So we'll be looking for all those 2020 top rookies. Here's pack number two. We have the strikeout leaders cards right there. There's Brennan McKay rookie card. That's a nice one. We'll see who our uh, orange parallel is going to be. There's Jesus Lusardo rookie card. That's a good one. Mike Trout sketch card. They actually have one of one sketch cards in this set. Uh, this is just a reproduction of that, but we may get lucky enough to find a one-of-one one in our break. There's a nice Brendan Rodgers. Those aren't numbered, by the way. They're just kind of cool to look at, I guess. Jordan Montgomery, Miguel Cabrera, and Jacob deGrom, your back-to-back -back Cy Young Award winner. We'll see who wins it this year if the season ever gets underway. Here's pack number three of 18. I see Shohei Otani's on the back. Jorge Alfaro leads things off. Hey, we've got Luis Robert, one of the top rookies. We'll be looking for his cards when Series 2 comes out, which isn't too far away, next Friday, Yusei Kikuchi, Jose Ramirez, and there's our parallel. It's Charlie Blackman, Tim Anderson, Mitch Garver, and Shoya Tony right there. This, these are kind of cool. Those orange ones really pop. I would uh, definitely like to find some of the top rookies. Like a, a Jordan Alvarez would be really nice with the orange uh, uniform roll call. These are roughly one in every four packs, I believe. Roll call Glaber Torres, like that one a lot. Here's the back of the card, and Blake Snell, Jesus Aguilar with the Marlins. And then we have Miguel Sano and Nico Horner rookie card. Pulled a bunch of his autos last night out of Finest. Finest was uh, somewhat surprising last night. Lots of good autographs coming out of Top's Finest, and uh, I was surprised at the number of Hall of Famers. There's Rollis Chapman. Award winners, 
Trent Grissom pulled a few of his autographs last night. Walker Bueller, defensive wizard card there. Javi Baez, Kyle Seeger, orange card. Mike Fires celebrating with the A's and Christian Walker. Mike Fires, of course, the whistleblower on the whole Astros cheating scandal. He was a former Astros player, knew what was going on, and didn't really like it when they were cheating against him. Uh, there's Ichiro highlights card. That's his last ever game. Of course, Ichiro opened the season with the Mariners last year in Japan, then stepped away after that series was over. There's Bo Bichette celebrating. It looks like maybe a walk off there. Nice looking card right there. His hair's flying everywhere. A. Eugenio Suarez flipping out. Insert set right there. I think those are one every four packs right there. Uh, A. Eugenio Suarez. I don't know if this is uh, commemorating players who got ejected from the games. Let's see. He had a look of disappointment as he tossed his bat aside. And who could blame him? Uh, the previous day. So they're, I, that's pretty interesting. Having a an insert set for players being disappointed. That's something new. Ramon Laureano had a great season last year. That would be kind of interesting if they did have a insert set for all the players that got ejected the previous year. Uh, people love those ejections. You know that John Boy makes a uh, makes a killing on all the um, in terms of views of all the uh, ejection videos that he features. People love watching those. There's roll call: Keston Hira, Gary Sanchez, and Austin Riley. Next pack up for Patrick. Oh, well, no autograph. I'm not exactly sure if we'll find one or not. There's Dustin May. Nice uh, hair blown in the wind there. Barely even fits in his cap. Matt Chapman, defensive wizard. He's widely regarded as the best third baseman in the American League. A. Eugenio Suarez in better days there. No flipping out there. He looks like he's uh, celebrating maybe a home run. One of his 49 home runs last year. There's your MVP, Mike Trout and Locaine making a nice run and catch at the wall. All right, so there's 18 packs, and they put a little bit of um, actually a nice large chunk of styrofoam at the bottom to make the box look the same size as last year, maybe. Um, but only a few packs left in this preview video. There we go. There's the MVPs. That's a nice pack. Trout and Bellinger on the front there. You have to let me know in the comments what you think of this release, Juan Soto. There's Tim Anderson flexing for the camera, and uh, this guy's like. Are you serious, guy? There's Justin Verlander. There's a sketch card of Frankie Lindor, Paul Goldschmidt, orange card, the Grandy Man, who's now retired, and Jack Flaherty. He had a great second half last year, and you see his name in the discussion for early favorites for Cy Young Award winner this year. Uh, even though the season hasn't started yet, people think that he's going to be a good one. Here we have our first rainbow parallel numbered card. Scott Kingery out of 100. Very first numbered card of the day. Just a regular looking card on the back, but still really cool to get a numbered card. It might be the only one we get. We'll see what we have in store throughout the rest of these. There's Steven Strasburg, award winner's card. Nice one there. Sean Murphy, rookie card. Still trying to find Jordan Alvarez. There's Max Muncy flipping out. Uh, maybe he's celebrating a bat flip right there. So um, flip the bat. So I guess maybe it's a bat flip set. There's Ronald Acuna Jr. highlight card. That's a nice one. Acuna, of course, is on the front of Prism, which also just came out yesterday. And we'll be breaking some cases of Prism tomorrow night on the channel. So I hope you can join us for that live stream. There's Aristides Aquino rookie card. I got a whole bunch of new releases coming out uh, this week. And uh, the next one after um, Big League that we'll be covering is going to be Clearly Authentic on Wednesday. Clearly Authentic are those beautiful acetate cards that have this on-card on signature. Uh, that's Wednesday, and I'm really looking forward to that one. And then we also have a big one coming up for you guys, a big live stream on Thursday. It's going to be the 2011 Tops Update break. Um, looking for Mike Trout rookie cards, so make sure you join us for that. I think we'll go live at 727. Um, Obviously, the 27 for Mike Trout's number. Uh, cannot wait. 727 on June 25th. The best ever throwback Thursday to this point. All right, so here we go. Only a few packs left in the video. There's JT Realmuto, Paul Goldschmidt, Will Smith, Orange Card, George Springer, and Howie Kendrick round out that pack. We've got four total packs left to go for Patrick. Let's see what we can find. There's Glaber Torres, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. kind of chilling out there with Bo Bichette saying, hey, there's somebody taking our picture. And Bo Bichette's like, yep, and I'm just eating some sunflower seeds. A. Eugenio Suarez again celebrating Evan Longoria. 
There's whip leaders. Whip is walks plus hits divided by innings pitched. If you have a whip of one, you are pretty darn good. There's a nice Fernando Tatis Jr. defensive Wizards card. And Bryce Harper highlights card. Three more packs left to go for Patrick. And thank you, everybody, for joining us, watching this video. I really appreciate you guys tuning in. I hope you'll hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet done so. And there's Sterling Marte in his Arizona Diamondbacks uniform. First time seeing him for me in a D-backs uni. Of course, I was so accustomed to seeing him with the Buccos. Dallas Keuchel, Ryan Braun. We've got Josh Bell. And the last car there is award winner's Mike Trout. Two packs left to go. Some of you might want to put this set together. 300 cards. It's kind of a cheap entry point into the hobby. If you're looking to get back into the hobby for something that's, you know, $40 or less per box, this might be a fun way to kind of get yourself reaccustomed to all of the players that um, you may have missed out on. If you haven't been collecting since the 90s, I hear quite often people getting back in the hobby that used to collect. And uh, this might be a good way to get back in, just to ease your way back in. Your Don Alvarez rookie card right there. And here's our last pack of the day. Again, thanks for being here, everybody. Hope you hit the thumbs up button on the video and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already done so. And I really appreciate it. Hope you guys are having a great Saturday. There's Bo Bichette uh, looking like he probably just fouled the ball into the stands on line drive. He's like looking out to make sure he didn't hit anybody there. Always a scary moment. Of course, now there's netting uh, going all around the most stadiums. There's CC Sabathia who stepped away in re into retirement last year. There's a little cap tip there. Cool looking card. We've got Brandon Crawford as our final orange card. We have a roll call there of Andrew Benatendi celebrating um, something there. Uh, maybe a uh, home run or go ahead home run walk off. AJ Puck rookie card. And the last one, Fernando Tatis Jr. Uh, cool looking card right there with his hat off. So that's the last one of our preview video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure again you hit the subscribe button if you'd like to check out this product. We'll be breaking it on Monday. I'll put those for sale on Patreon for you guys tonight if you'd like to buy in. And Patrick, thank you very much. Uh, we'll be live tomorrow, Sunday evening with Prism. We'll be live Monday with Big League and then Wednesday with Clearly Authentic and Thursday with 2011 Tops Update. So lots of great live streams coming up. I hope you guys are enjoying your weekend. And I will see you all later on today, actually, because I have another video coming up of Pro Debut. Checking out the brand new release of Topps Pro Debut and seeing what that's all about. So I hope you guys are enjoying your weekend, and I will see you all later. Good night, everybody.